Yo, what's going on, everyone? C4 IQ here. Another podcast. I've got, uh, you know what? Actually, I'll let you introduce yourself. I've got a guest on for Frank West today for the UMVC. Uh, go ahead, man. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is BW Cool. Um, I guess you can call me uh, a Frank player, I guess. I mean, I've been using Frank for a while, and it's, it's, it's he's a really fun character. So, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, do you want to, like, you know, give a little, like, bio of yourself, like, how long you've been playing, what you played before Marvel, all that sort of stuff? Oh, yeah, no, no, of course. Um, well, I guess it all really came to, uh, I originally didn't play fighting games at all. I was just a kind of like a platformer. Um, and then I guess the original fighting game I guess I technically played would have been Smash Brothers. I think that's what everybody did. Um, yeah. I also went to Street Fighter. I didn't enjoy that, so I returned it immediately. I picked up the very first, one of like the very first copies of Street Fighter 4, like the original one when it came out. And I never really understood, like, Hadouken motion, so I returned that. <laughs> and then I immediately went into other fighting games like Tatsunoko. Then I heard more about Marvel. I played Darkstalkers, like, ages ago, but not enough to actually be good at it, you know? Right, wow, yeah. Um, and then I guess originally it all started with Marvel. I f- immediately fell in love with that game in vanilla. Um, it was just loads of fun just being able to do these crazy hyper combos X Factor was insane, and I was just like, damn, this is so much fun. I want more, you know, then they announced DLC, and I was like, damn, where's the rest of it? You know, where's the love? Nothing else, just 30-something 30, 30 characters? Yeah. And eventually announced an Ultimate. Um, and then more along the lines, I guess, um, I, I worked with another channel at one once upon a time, and I was doing combo videos for them. Um, and I guess that's kind of how I got into a fighting game, like fighting game tournaments and stuff. Because oh, a right. friend, a friend recommended me to go to a tournament called Curly Mustache. Wow. <laughs> so, of uh, yeah, that's a that was a big tournament, um, and I really didn't know it was like that. Like it was that big. I just thought it was just like I, I knew it was a high rollers tournament, but I didn't know it was that big. You know. Yeah. So I went, got my ass busted. I was like, damn, that's. <laughs> I went in with the intention, yeah, I'm going I'm to win this. We're going to celebrate afterwards. It was in New York. I came to learn that there's a lot more better players than me, and I guess that's what kind of motivated me to play the game even more, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Cool. Uh, I feel like, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's fun going to tournaments and just meeting new people, seeing all this technology being discovered constantly in this game. It's, this game is always growing. Like, I believe uh, a couple of weeks ago, some more tech got discovered with uh, Dante. And, like, if you know Crazy Dance? Yep. Oh, the invincibility? Yeah, I was yeah. like, wow, that's crazy. I mean, who knows what can become, you know, what can come up with that? You know, like, what kind of technology you can yeah, do? Yeah, like, I'm sure you can, there's ways to implement it so you, you avoid, like, whole supers. Like, you just Hell look on the yeah. screen. Like, I mean, I remember some... Not to talk about Dante too much, but I remember when someone showed like a an infinite block string you can do with Crazy Dance, where you just keep canceling over and over again, and they can't push block you away. And oh, you can the cancel, right? Yeah, yeah. The Z or K cancel, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I remember. I heard about it too. It's actually really good. Uh, I don't know how to do it, but you know. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. There's, there's that text been out, but no one's really using it. And same with like the Kabuto text been out for a while. Not anyone's really using it, but it's like yeah, that no, could stop a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, I, I had to learn that because I, I fight a lot of Virgil, so I had to learn that. Yeah, it's like, and it, I, it's a shame that we don't see it a lot more. Like, I definitely wanted to do a podcast about just Marvel in general, how I think that the tech is a lot further than how people, uh, like in the gameplay, I think like Alpha Canners are being underused, people like Jill, like uh, Firebrand, that they're the real cheap characters, but no one's no, really no, implemented no. it yet. And I feel like it. The way Marvel has been, not to not to sound rude or disrespectful, people are lazy. People will take the easy way out, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, who would? Nobody wants to work hard to do a Jill combo that'll be you know fancy, nice, do decent damage, you know, get a mix up or pick Virgil. <laughs> that's how people have been recently, and it's just like everybody's going to the obviously the higher tier characters, and that's fine. But when it comes to cheap stuff, there's, I'm pretty sure, obviously, like you said, Jill's another cheap character. Uh, Shuma Garoth is definitely a cheap character yep. with that assist. You know, there's just a bunch of other things. If, if people stop being lazy, we could definitely move this game up a little bit, you know. I've been saying that from, like, well, not day one, obviously, but I've been saying that for a while, and it's hard to get across because it's like, yeah, look how good this character is. Look what they can do. And it's like, 
when you see when other people watching the game, it's like, yeah, I see foot dive and I see magnetic blasts. Like, I see helm breakers. Why? Why is there any other character in this game? Like, no. and it's it's hard to get across. It's like it's just because people either aren't good enough with that character yet, or they just don't want to put in the work. They'll go, oh, I play this long with Iron Man, and I'm not getting nowhere, so I'm going to pick. Yeah. Or whatever, but uh, yeah, that's for another podcast. Uh, today yeah. it's all about Frank Zombie Killer. Uh, it's going to be a bit different because obviously Frank with his levels. Uh, me and BW like, decided to kind of cover his main stages, so level one to two, uh, level three because he's got the broom. That's a big difference with his like zoning and poking game. Yeah, and obviously level four and five is when he's like Jesus Frank. It just Superman Prime mode, like, <laughs> I, I honestly think he's the best character in the game when he's in that mode, but yeah. we'll, we'll see with the ranking system. So, uh, we'll start off, we'll, uh, we'll go over his normals. Uh, Level one, um, standing light, it's it's an okay tool, like, hold on, let me put the computer on auto block. so let's see. It's alright, nothing special. His best normal in level one, I would say, is standing medium, crouch and medium. Those are the best, because they have so much range that it's just like, it's about maybe it it's a good it covers a good distance and it keeps and he's safe pretty much. Um yeah. the next one is standing heavy. Uh it's fine. Um it does have a lot of block stun. It's good for block strings. Um I mostly like to do that especially if I have them cornered in the uh in the corner I pressure them with crouch or stand me stand heavy and then he has the slide and then I would do a uh, uh camera shot just to keep him safe. I would call an assist though. Right. So that's that's the only reason I would use standing heavy. And then the last one, crouching heavy. Oh my god, it's such a good tool. Yeah. Um it can go under plasma beam, it can go under I believe disruptor if you time it correctly. Really? Um yeah, I believe, don't quote me on that. I know it goes <laughs> under uh it know it goes under um Hawkeye's triple arrow so you can get around assist yeah. calls and stuff like that. It's really good if you know you're you're pressuring them and then they get scared, they call assist or they'll press a button. Crouching heavy. Yeah, so I've definitely got most of my happy birthdays from doing graduate heavy. Yeah. Um, what most people don't understand, though, is uh, people forget that Frank does not have an overhead normal. I mean, the only overhead he has is his knee drop and his cr- uh, quarter circle forward heavy. Um, so right. there's not really any mix-up. You can really just hold down back on Frank if you want. Um, but, like, the, yeah, like he, he really has no mix-up option for high or low, you know? It's just he only has low. You can do the instant overhead, but you can't really get anything off of it. Yeah, no, unless you've got an assist behind him, I guess. Like, yeah, uh, you could do it with Virgil's, uh, Virgil or Dante's jam set. Something that'll that'll linger there, kind of like plasma beam, maybe super scroll. Uh, I know proton or not proton, can't Iron Man's uh, Unibeam maybe. Yeah. This okay. like selected selected assist can make him more scary. It just depends on what team you're using him with. Okay. Um, now, for his air normals, uh, a good poking tool, especially against people that uh, play like you know air game, like very heavy, like Morgan, Magneto, Doom. Your best tool is air medium. Uh, you can confirm it, like if they jump, let's say they do an air dash. Your best way to confirm it will be air medium, quarter circle forward, and then you can uh, you can land and then you can launch them. So right. that's one of the best tools. His air light isn't really anything special except for the instant overhead. Air heavy's just air heavy. There's nothing special about it. Um, air S is a good way to actually get in if they're on the ground. It's 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 okay. It's good. It's a good way to just mess with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Other than that, um, and that's 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 really all that covers Frank's normals in level one. Um, on to, uh, can I go on to special moves? Oh no, that's next. Uh, with the normals, it's just literally the the levels of Frank. So oh, all the levels, all the levels. Yeah, yeah just oh, like, okay, yeah, okay. just the main ones. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to level three. I'm leveling him up right now. Just basic bread and butter. Level three. All right. So in level three, uh, he has the same light and crouch light. Nothing special. Um, stand medium is now dangerous as hell because. It can reach literally three fourths of the screen. It's like it's it reaches very far. Yeah, he can be uh he can be like it, it's it's a great poke. You can confirm it with uh beam hypers, um certain assists, and then you can convert it. You can dash launch your BNB. Crouch medium is still just the same. It's just as good. 
Um, let's see. Uh, now that you have that crazy long reach with uh, stand medium and level 3, the best way to confirm it is if you do poke them while they're standing, you can do stand medium into crouch heavy, which is the slide. And there's basically like a full, like not a full screen, but like a, a good distance hit confirm, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you uh, would just do stand medium, crouch light, launcher, you know, you do your specials, whatever. Yeah, um, I mean, Marvel's not a game known for like footsies, but like that's it does play a part with characters like Frank and Westgard I'd say uh, you, you, it makes a difference definitely makes a difference yeah and um, his air his air buttons are pretty much the same except for medium like I said uh, or reach you can convert it with uh, quarter circle forward medium or light I mean so yeah I mean he at level 3 level 3 is basically an ideal Frank play, like character like that like if Frank was level 3 he would be just a good character all around yeah Level one and two never existed. This would be perfect because level three just it's so good, um, and you can convert off of really anything with his normals, and it's awesome. And that's about it. His S, uh, well, most people actually I, I forgot to cover this S. Um, mm. Most Frank players like to do this. Uh, they like to do stand medium in a block string, and then like let's say they block it right. They do stand medium heavy slide S and they block it that's unsafe I still do that to this day because that's a force of habit that's a whole <laughs> yeah um, most Frank players do that and they put fine but that's actually so, yeah. I recommend oh, don't any do other that. option I, I, the only thing I can recommend to keep yourself safe is an assist call camera shot or uh, the zombie throw but yeah, yeah. that covers level 3 um, now on to level 4 that's when he turns into god mode yeah that's, that's when he becomes OP ridiculously dumb <laughs> uh, let's see well uh, pretty much uh, I don't know how, what is, what to say about level 4 <laughs> um, I mean stand medium is now even deadlier does freaking 109 damage 109k just on hit um, and pretty much the same concept from before you can poke them with it and then do crouching heavy to confirm it light and crouch light are the same so nothing special um stand heavy is dumb because it has it has a ridiculous hitbox a great mix-up that i like to use with stand heavy um i would snap or on an incoming character right go to the corner and then do stand heavy before they land and it'll hit behind their neck uh, it's a great mix. I wish I could show you. I don't know. Uh, I've seen. Is that on incoming when you're in like they're coming in the corner and they yeah, basically yeah. go over you? Yeah. Yeah. That. That's that's a great mix. You can do that with other levels. It doesn't work as good. I think three is when it starts actually working. But when four, you can actually confirm it and do real damage. You can you make it like safe? So if they do block it, can you? Is there any way of making it safe or? Uh, is just, it like a commitment? Like you go for it and. Uh, no, you can actually do a uh, quarter circle forward light, which is the little, uh, yeah, he like sticks out the, yeah. uh, normally in level one and t one, two and three, he does like a little jab, 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 the level plunges. three, yeah, and that's safe too, um, but it pulls them towards you, so they could tech you, they could throw you, but you could tech it, oh, okay. um, in, in level one, that pushes them away far as hell, like really far, hmm. and it does over, let's see, how much does it do block, uh, it does 109, so yeah. It, it's really good. So if, even if they if they block it or they know, you can you can also do that. You can roll. Um, you have a lot of options, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it with his normals. Uh, air normals again. Air medium is his best normal. Uh, you can really pressure them by doing jump medium medium, but don't get too out of hand because they can. If they predict it, they could anti air you or they can uh, they can't throw you. So you got to be careful with that. But if they don't know how to deal with it, you can go ahead and be a little dickish and just do jump medium. S is good. Yeah, yeah, you see, most... I think that's his bread and butter sort of thing. Most trains go for that. No, I mean, like, it's a block string. Uh, oh, it's a block string, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, jump medium, medium, S, and that already does, like, I believe around 100 to 200k chip, and that's pretty good. Wow, that is a lot. Of <laughs> that's silly. Um, and yeah, uh, one thing they actually didn't cover is uh, his command normal, which he only has one, which is uh, his uh, knee drop. Um, his knee drop is not safe. Most people don't know that. Uh, if it's on block, they can hit you, they can throw you. But after level one and two, 
if they do block it, you can roll on land. Yeah. When as soon as you land, so you can roll. Um, you can go ahead and start doing uh, I guess stand light because it is the quickest normal in the game or quickest. You know, everybody's jab is the quickest out of all the normals. So yeah, you can't do light to keep yourself safe. And yeah, uh, his his uh, his knee drop it's good just because. Um, I mean, it's just a dive kick, essentially, you know, a foot dive, whatever. Yeah. That's really his only command normal. Um, does he have anything else? I don't think so. Uh, do, you wanna, do you know much about the uh, forward heavy, like the pie, oh, yeah, Chardonnay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always forget about it. I rarely use it, but <laughs> when I do, it comes in handy. I only really use that to bait out the opponent just to, like, because if they're, like, like let's say, uh, plasma, plasma beam, right? Yeah. If I time it correctly, I can throw the... I can throw uh, whatever whatever level he's in. Honestly, it just does more damage. Um, if mm. I throw whatever normal or forward heavy and whatever level he's in, it'll always beat out somebody else doing a, a quarter circle forward motion. So yeah. Not, yeah, except Magneto, except Magneto because Disruptor is silly. <laughs> uh, Disruptor is way too fast for that. But nah, uh, in level four, you can stop people from like like you know playing keep away on you if they're like playing ground game. Yeah. Like Unibeam, Beam, uh, Gamma Crush, I guess. Volts of Ball Thack, uh, just stuff like that. Um, other than that, there's no really other good use for it because the one thing that I hate is you can't special cancel. You can't. You can only yeah. Actor, and I don't mind not doing it, but I would have never actually do it. I have one way of confirming it, which is with an assist call. You can also do it with beam assists most of the time. You would throw away, call the beam assist, it would confirm. Just yeah, there's a uh, what's it? B does that a lot. He'll do like uh, pie and cool. Uh, oh, uh, Spencer, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good way. Yeah, see, with B, that's actually really good because Spencer's is, is like really fast on. Yeah. Her, her startup. So yeah, yeah. There's there's little tricks here and there that you can use with it. Other than that, other than keep away, that's really all. It's really there for. No, no, there's no other reason. Yeah. I just hate that it's not special cancel. Uh, I I used to think that, but I was thinking, how silly would it be if it was though? I mean, because there, there's quite a bit of block stun on it, uh, hit stun. Sorry. Yeah, on level so, four, it is a lot of hit stun. It's actually really good. So I, I guess it's fair. It's like where where uh, could I get a confirm from like half screen? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, and I know this character's kind of stupid anyway, but yeah, if I could cancel that into mm, yeah, I don't know. But it's, it's it isn't, so don't worry, everyone. It's cool. Yeah, no. Uh, be funny though. <laughs> it would be. It would be. Uh, so yeah, uh, normals. Uh, overall, uh, I, I would obviously ca- uh, taking into consideration he's level one, and even like at his level one, he is playable. He just hasn't got silly gimmicks. Like yeah. he's literally fundamentals. Uh, he's he, basically Ryu without the feet. That's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I guess. Uh, yeah, and the, he's got the knee drop, but you can't really make it safe. Can't slash, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can't get enough of it either, unless you go X Factor. Uh, oh, camera. Uh, I want to. No, nah, that would be a special, I guess. No, nah, camera yeah, special. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say the hitbox, and that is ridiculous. But we'll see that in a minute. But uh, yeah, normal wise, I, I, I would probably say like a eight, nine. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking. Um. Well, I see it like this. If he. Obviously, you're always going to have level one Frank, so that's going to be a factor. Um, even if even if he's obviously not, I mean, there's chances if that match might go to hell, or even in a three out of five set, one of those matches you're going to have level one Frank. You're not always going to get what you want. Yeah, this game is way too crazy for that. Definitely. Um, I feel like I, I guess normal wise, I would give him a seven point five, maybe eight. Because once he does get what you need and you, you're golden, oh my god, it's so much fun being level four. It's so funny. Yeah. So I would give him a seven point five, maybe eight. Let's let's call it eight. Let's call it eight. Let's call it eight. Eight. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Right. Uh. Right. Next. Yeah. We uh, we're going on to special moves. So. Uh. Oh, because I just said it last. Uh. I want to talk about the camera. Like the camera hitbox is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. It's it's really good. Um. I believe the distance. It's at least three fourths of the screen. It's yeah, like, it's, um, it kind of hit like it kind of hits like Ami Super in it. Like there's, it's the like, imagine the center of the screen. Yeah, and it's a massive circle, and then there's a corner at the top where it doesn't hit you, and there's like a corner yeah. at the bottom. Uh, it's too big. It's far too big. I honestly think it's it's one of his best tools because uh, you can punish a lot of uh, air dashers. 
Um, my favorite way of using the camera shot is when I have when I fight a Virgil or a person that does does a random hyper. But against Virgil, it's best. Like say if they do swords, right? Right. They're obviously going to do stinger, teleport, something. Just do camera shot. You're going to knock them out of it. They get hit. Mm. Um, you can punish the camera shot. You can use it to punish random hypers. It's it, it is pretty quick, so it is good. Um, the range, like you said, is ridiculous. The only downside to it, it is unsafe, I believe, on block. And if you just do camera shot just out the blue, they will recover faster than you most of the time. Yeah, I was about to say I'm I'm sure in some cases I've hit people with a camera, but I've still got hit. Like yeah, it's, on, it's one of the yeah, it's one of the only moves I think in the game where it's like it's unsafe on hit, <laughs> like. Yeah, uh, it is definitely character dependent and position independent, but yeah, it's not, it's not free. Like, yeah. it's situational. It's definitely situational, but it has its uses. The only reason you really want to use it is if, like, yeah, like if they did a random hyper or they're on the air. If they're on the ground, you can, but beware, you will get punished. Yeah. So yeah, um, the camera shot, like I said, um, on block, it's good. Obviously, the best usage for it is to level him up and get that last hit that you need. And, um, you know, go to God mode. Uh, you can, uh, convert, the best way to use the camera shot, you can also use it off of his air throws. Uh, off of air throw, uh, forward back, you can do camera shot, yeah, yeah, you can do that. And off of forward, and off of ground throws, yeah. I thought you couldn't do it off of the back throw for a second, I was tripping. <laughs> no. Um, and yeah, that, that pretty much covers it. Uh, I feel like the camera shot's also good for, um, like, I, I force them, like, you have you fought a Captain America before? Uh, uh a few. I play Cap. But, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 you do, yeah. you do. Well, I'm pretty sure you do jump, shield slash, correct? Uh, a lot, yeah. So if they do that and I read that, I call Virgil assist, do camera shot, and then Virgil will drag them all the way across the screen. I have enough time to plink dash forward and convert off of that. Okay. So, wow. A, it's a good anti-air, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Frank's camera shot can be used as a great anti-air. It's really assist variant. Because I have Dante's jam session that I can also convert off of that. Um, I can do stand, or air medium, medium, a land, because I did camera shot first. Right, yep. And they'll, they'll, they'll fling off of jam session and I'll just convert it and, you know, do launcher. So yeah. Um, camera shot, great anti-air, great move. Yeah. Um, the next, I can move on to the next specials, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, next one. Whatever one you want to go next. Uh, let's start with the quarter circle forwards. Uh, the jab, jab, jab thing he does with level one. It's okay. It's not bad. Uh, if people don't know about it, like if you fight just some random person, it does pull them in on block. Yeah. So you can throw them afterwards if they're not prepared for it. So it's a good way to set up some little things here and there. Mostly it's just used for uh, combo extensions, honestly. After you launch them, you would do that... You would do medium, medium heavy, and then you would do quarter circle forward light, and then do medium S, and then send them down and take a picture. You know? Yeah, that's like uh, uh, the best way to get the most hits sort of thing. Yeah, it, it works really great off a, a TAC, obviously. Um, yeah. When you launch them, you can do it up to three times, and then you can do knee drop, camera shot, bam. That's an instant level three, essentially. So, not bad. Um, the next one... We're still on level one too, so the 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 quarter circle forward medium, um, the helm run bat, uh, it's okay. It's it's mostly just used for. It's better used in the more higher levels. Other than that, it's not really recommended to use in level ones and two. I wouldn't I wouldn't use it. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it gets I, a wall bounce uh, in all levels, but uh, the use of for it in level one, like you can't really convert off of it unless you like randomly meet someone in the air and hit him with it like it's, it's pretty random that you're going to do that yeah it has a big hitbox but it, there's not you can't really convert off of it even if you hit them it's just a hit and it's a soft knockdown so let me yeah try. um now let's say quarter circle forward heavy now that is his go to tool that is the OTG that is the extension yeah. that's reserved uh, um, tool, tools of destruction yeah that's the one uh is it is yeah. it safe on block? I don't know if it's safe on block. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't think it is. Put it up for heavy. Um, yeah. No, it's not. If they block it, no. They can right. Push yeah. It's because you, it, cause it's overhead and no one's really ready for it. It normally hits. So. Yeah. That's that's kind of like that's kind of what I'd like to do. Like when I was talking earlier about high low mix up, 
most people would cool. obviously expect the slide. So when I do slide, I immediately cancel into quarter circle forward heavy. Ah, uh, okay. It's kind of like Reeves overhead, but the only thing you can do after that is if you hit it, you have to do a hyper. So yeah. Um, moving on. Um, I guess we could go up to higher levels. Uh, let's see. Uh, and it's, do you want to uh, cover the zombies quickly as well in level one? Oh, well, I guess they're oh, yeah. the same in every level, aren't they? Uh, yeah, the zombies, they're all the same. We can cover the zombies, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the zombies, quarter circle forward, back light, it's the fastest one you can throw it. Um, it, it, it covers, uh, full screen. Yeah, it's always gonna hit full screen. Yeah. So, the cool thing about that, most people don't know about the zombies, in all, in whatever levels, whichever one you do, the medium version or heavy version, the zombies technically not there. So, let's say, you know they're gonna do something, right? Let's say you pre-plan the, the throw. You're already getting ready for the throw, and they do, like, some hyper or some plasma beam. It's going to hit them, and the zombie will not get hit by that, that hyper or whatever, or plasma beam. Yeah. It's technically not. It's like Maya, essentially, from Phoenix, from Phoenix right? Right. It's not going to be there, so it can just hit that character for free. It can knock them out of anything. Um, don't don't they count as uh, actual hurt boxes? Like they're not projectiles because, like, obviously, if you do, if you throw a zombie at a Doctor Strange and he's doing his uh, uh, projectile counter, oh, yeah. it doesn't activate. Oh. So yeah, that actually does count as a hurt box. Um, the medium one is just it takes a little bit more time to charge. Uh, it it can work in combos if you're in level three and you OTG. Uh, you can do the medium one to combo extended. The heavy one, the same thing. It doesn't. There's nothing really good for it. It's just, she just throws it. That's about it. It does more damage, I guess you could say. Uh, um, if you're close. Oh, because it gets more rotations, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really all it is. Um, nothing special. I, I think the best one you want is the light one because it's the quickest. Um, if you do throw it, like, mid-screen, you can convert off of it. So, yeah. let's say you throw it mid-screen. Because he does kind of lunge forward when he throws it, he does get closer so you can dash and do launcher. Yeah. So that's also it's also not a bad end here. It punishes a lot of uh, Hagger Hulks that like to do jump uh, ground bounce, like Hulks jump bats. You know, it causes. Yeah, um, yeah. I can throw the zombie out and it'll hit them, and then I'll dash launcher. Um, it also punishes Hagger's little pipe thing. Yeah, that that's pipe. Yeah. Um, and it's it's good. It's good. Um, the other zombie thing he has is the the charge. Yeah, which is this uh, cor- it's just hold back forward and then you press light. Light, honestly, I find in my opinion the best one, um, because it it takes a little bit of time to actually throw it out, but because it's such a slow moving projectile, um, you can just have setups, especially if they're full screen. That's the best time when you want to use it. If they're full screen, throw it, and if you know how to plink dash or wave dash, yeah, this- you want to you want to go in front of that zombie because that zombie's really slow. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I'd say the light one's definitely the best for like coverage uh, to cover your approach. Where normally in most games you feel about covering your approach by having something in front of you, but having the zombie behind you means that. No matter what you do next, you're Something basically is, safe. Yeah, essentially, that, that's the only reason I would use him. That's uh, it's, it. Also, puts like a little bit of pressure on the opponent because he's like, "Oh, what the hell is that? Like, why the f- <laughs> <laughs> like is that a zombie? Like, we, you know, nobody really sees nobody throw the zombie with Frank, so they nah, they, nah. they kind of don't know what to expect. Um, the medium one is the same thing. It's it's really fast. Um, it, uh, it's yeah, the same, you, it does the same damage. You can't really beat it, the medium one. You basically get it at the same time. Yeah. Um, the heavy one, it's the fastest one, and it also has that uh, ability to put them in the, the special grab state. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's not really a name for it. It's, not, it's sort of like a... Yeah, it's a grab state, like kind of like spider, uh, spider, Spider-Man's spider web thing. Right, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing, I don't know what you would, would like, really what use it is. I mean, it's cool when it actually does land. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, um, I've never seen anyone sort of set up a way to make that hit on yeah, I, standing. The Maybe there's way, a Spencer guy. I don't know. If that can do true. it. True. There are some ways I've seen um, where it's like uh, if you do have the Spencer assist, you can combo yeah. and like make them get grabbed. But it's it's really all that's really for just combo videos, I believe. Yeah. I don't really use it. I use it rarely on the occasion when I know I throw it and they're standing. And if you're quick enough, you can outrun the zombie. If you plink and then you do the roll, 
it will cross up. That's really oh, okay. Oh, right, yeah. I'll try that. Um, that's really the only uses I see. I mean, other than that, I really most of the time find myself throwing the light zombie. So, yeah. Um, they're all the same in every level. No, no power-up difference. Uh, and, yeah, that's about it. That covers that. Um, I can cover his... Uh, his, uh, his move he gets after uh, level 2, which is the roundhouse. So the first one is um, a whiff, the light version. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fake out, essentially. Um, I haven't found a good use for it just yet. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what they were going with this. I mean, he originally came, he, he got this from Tatsunoko, so I can see why they brought it back. I mean, it's yeah. cool, I guess. Uh, I mean, the, the only time I've seen someone use it, like, and it looks like it really threw me off. Uh, I think this is, oh, is it Kless? C L E S S. He plays uh, Zero Frank. Uh, I can't remember the other character. I think it's Taskmaster. And on his incoming, it really throws you off. Like, because you don't know if he's going to do, if he's going to cross you up. He's, he always backs away. He throws uh, one of the crawler zombies. And then he will dash and do either the normal uh, rad ass to send him in the corner. So you cross up behind him, or do the fake so he stays in front, and then he'll do like a stand jab just to add the air you and stuff. Uh, but other than that, even in that situation, it's sort of a gimmick because he doesn't have to do it. He doesn't have to do the fake out. He could just. Yeah. I, I try to apply it to like incoming setups, but most of the time I just got hit because I it's 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 just it's just a fake out. Yeah. I mean, hey, only only time will tell before somebody finds out something crazy with it, right? Yeah, who knows? It might be projectile invincible. Probably not, but <laughs> you never know. Um, so yeah, and then the medium one causes a hard knockdown. It's good for extensions. I uh, I like it. It's cool. I just like because he just like just kicks you in the face. <laughs> um, no really. Other than combo extensions, there's no really other use for it. And then the heavy one, it can OTG. And that's really what you want to do. After you're at level 5, you no longer have to do a camera shot. So, I mean, even if you get to level 5, yeah, you should start doing the, the roundhouse kick from now on. It does so a lot get, more damage. Yeah, it does 70 compared to the camera shot, which is 10. So, yeah. All the damage counts, you know. That one pixel could have, you know, cost you the match. No, no, definitely. Uh, and especially if, obviously, in the middle of combos, when you've already used your uh, tool of survival to get the uh, the ridiculous grab match you get. Yeah. Uh, it's It's... Another option you've got to finish your combos instead of thinking, oh yeah, take a picture. I'm already level five. Uh, you don't you do you get a a health boost when you take a picture in level five? Uh, no, act well, yeah. When, when you when you get to level five, you do get a you do get a, an additional 100 HP, I believe. Right. Uh, I believe, yeah. So he basically, er, it, it's something to do with um. He basically, yeah, he basically turns into a hagger. Like he has 1100 now. Ah, uh, okay. He originally has a million. So yeah, um, it's kind of cool. I never really ever actually get to level five. Sometimes I only get to level four because my Dante combos always end with freaking like ninety eight. So I'm like, oh damn it, that sucks. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, I mean, it, it, I guess you could say it does count for the people that do play like Nova Scroll. Yeah, I guess that extra one hundred HP does really like change the whole match and everything. Um, after each camera shot, I actually forgot to mention. After each level, he gets, uh, I believe, some health back. Uh, I don't know how much, but let's, let me see. Uh, let's restart. He, uh, I think it's like only like ten. I think not, not much. It's nothing super special. But I remember there was one match that I did have, um, where I literally had like just Frank left. Yeah. Uh, I already blew X Factor, so and I had a little bit of the red health still. So pretty much, I, I, if I already blew X Factor, I'm not gonna get that back. So. I pretty much had to like rely on getting the camera shot each level to get that like little ounce of health back. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh no no, he gets about fifty k. Fifty k. That's not too bad. Not bad. Um, considering the fact you can level him up four times, so yeah. If you yeah. hit each, if you hit each level the right way, I mean, hey, you can get back two hundred. That's not that's a good deal. Um. So yeah. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before I move on to so the the other levels of his specials. Uh, with the zombie, back to the zombie throw. Yeah. Um, on an incoming setup, when the character is incoming, you can throw it and it can cross them up. Actually. Is that the uh, the zombie toss or the the, the, like zombie the crawler toss. one? The toss. No, no, the zombie toss. Yeah, when he like swings them around. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Incoming. 
can definitely use that as a mix-up. I actually use that as a mix-up. I forgot to tell you. So the way you would use it, uh, let's just snap them in. You would do the light zombie or the heavy one. You just got to kind of time it. It doesn't matter which zombie it is as long as it, uh, it crosses up, you know? Or yeah. it looks like a cross-up, however you set it up. <laughs> and basically after that, you would back up and then go for the crouching slide or crouching heavy. So, right, uh, yeah. Um, and then you just confirm it. Uh, I only really use that mix up on X Factor if he is my anchor character because I probably fucked up that match. <laughs> I would only use that mix up <laughs> then and there. Yeah, um, I mean, once you're like level four, you can do a lot better mix ups, I'm guessing, with, uh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much the only thing I have. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty tricky to block that because you, you really can't tell. On an incoming mix up, it's just it's it's very hard to block, um, especially with the fact that if he is level four after that, it's like oh shit, he could kill me if he touches me. That's not good. Yeah, that's never good. <laughs> um, so yeah, other than that, the next the next specials, I guess it would have to be his higher up levels. Um, that's what I'd say. Yeah, so uh, I think it's all the cool circles. Uh, Again, yeah. Yeah, um, like medium heavy. I don't. I'm pretty sure that's the only change he has. Is uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, they only do an additional, I believe, 50k. Uh, level three does 130, and um, level one it does 103. Okay, so it's about 30k difference. Not bad. The, the um, property slightly changed. I mean, uh, we'll get to him obviously when you talk about the heavy. The oh yeah, heavy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the the quarter circle forward light is actually good. Um, let's say they're jumping and air dashing, right? Because he's in level three, he'll have that nice air medium, right? As yeah. a poke. If you do confirm it, you can go into quarter circle forward light, and then you'll do S. And that'll now that because he's in level three, his S is actually now a ground bounce. I forgot to actually mention that before. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. When he's in level three and four, his S now causes a ground bounce. Uh which is really good because, like I was saying, like like if he's in level three, you do air medium. You would convert that into a crouch or a quarter circle forward light, and then after that, you would do air S because now it causes a ground bounce. You can convert it off of it. So, yeah. really good tool to have that quarter circle forward light in level three. Really good. Uh, it also doesn't. It's got a weird property because it doesn't suck you in like uh, level one and two does. Uh, no. But it knocks, it kind of sweeps you off your feet and causes a soft knockdown, which is really weird. Like, the last hit seems to, like, hit your feet and stops you from standing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. On hit, yeah. It, 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 um, it's kind of like a, like he clips them or whatever, I guess. You yeah. Say. Uh, I'm, I've not really used it. I mean, the only time I really use the cool circle light is, like, for air conversions. If I think I can meet someone in the air, I'll do medium. And then just literally go straight for quarter circle. If I see it hit and hit S, and then I get a combo from it. Not much, but it will probably get me to level four. So yeah, no, it's definitely good. Um, on block, it's fine. It's, it, it doesn't pull them in like level one and two. Uh, it pushes them like further back a little bit. It doesn't do much chip. Nothing special with that. So yeah, no. I mean, special wise, level three, uh, the quarter circle four light is really good. Yeah. Uh, now his home run is now actually very viable because uh, it can properly extend combos like n- unlike the level one ver- variant. Yeah. <laughs> um, you could do a combo like let's say basic B and B launch, medium medium heavy. You can do you can do uh you can do what's it called home run, wall bounce, extend it to however you feel like. Um, and now because he uh, he now. Like it, it's a lot. It, it makes it makes his job a lot easier. You can get more hits pretty much. Yeah, that's all I really use it for, and just a little bit of style. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make my Frank different from everybody else's. I feel like not many people use the ground bounce be- or the wall bounce because it's not there's not really a point for it. But there's some pretty cool things you can find with it. Yeah, no, definitely. I've uh, I think what, well, the one corner combo that I always go for is like quarter circle light, quarter circle light. Heavy, then cool circle medium, get wall bounce, and then you basically get a relaunch without using your ground bounce from the, uh, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, y- there is ways to extend your combos with it. Uh, mid screen is a lot harder, like, you can convert off it mid screen, but it, you have to be able to, like, have a really good clink dash or wave dash, uh, and be able to judge 
heights and full time of characters. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's more complicated than it needs to be when you can just do medium, medium heavy roll OTG, medium, medium heavy. So. Yeah. Um, one thing that I could mention, actually, now that I think about it, I actually kind of do this setup also. Um, let's just say we did a, we did a, a basic bread and butter launch, land, OTG, and we did the wall bounce, right? Right, yeah. So we'll pick them up one more time, um, and let's call an assist to keep them in the air. Uh, or let's say, just let's just make it simple, uh, let's say West Coast Ground Bounce, right? Or his uh, OTG. Because we already used the wall bounce once, that wall bounce won't be there anymore. You do it a second time, right? So they're going to pop. They're going to yep. recover. And now because he's in level three, you can actually cancel that when they recover into the anti-air throw, the hyper. Right. Yeah. The, uh, the DDT. No. Yeah. Running bulldog. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So pretty much, I mean, if you have selected assist and I mean, you can't do it in certain combos. I don't know how to do it. I, most of the time I just use my assist. I would, uh, use the wall bounce once. Then the second time I use it, they just pop out of it immediately if you try to do it a second time. Um, and then that's when you want to go ahead and just wait for them to recover and just, then you're going to go for the air hyper, uh, happy face crusher or something like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, that's another good use for it. Uh, many people are now, well, most of the people that I fight already know about that. So you can tech out of it. You can tech forward if somebody ever does that setup on you. But if it's kind of, if it's, uh, if you set it up the right way, if you uh, space yourself correctly, it can be an unblockable. If they do not have an air dash or a ground or a double jump. So if you would do it on Virgil, Hagger, uh, Ryu, Hulk, they have no double jump air dash. That's confirmed dead. Mm. Like, like, I've only seen it was said to be unescapable, blah blah blah. But it was uh, basically off the tools of destruction, the overhead. When you let them ground bounce, as they're coming down, hitting with light. Do a roll, but cancel the roll into the. Uh, oh anti-air. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that as well. Um, you can do that. Set- That's the Noel Brown. I remember he did that, and I saw it. I was like, holy hell. Um, yeah, you can do that setup as well. That one's also an unblockable, unless they know it's coming, because then you can just uh, air recover backwards. See, that's what I thought the roll was for to be at the point where you're underneath the character, so it doesn't matter which way they take, or is that just? Not uh, no, no. If, if they're if they're suspecting it, they can't take out of it. Right. Okay. Okay. Fair. Unless, actually, you know what? Let's test that out. I, I believe. I, I don't know. I mean, I've I've never really done that setup just because I didn't. I didn't feel like I had the need for it because I had the the assist. But no, I mean, it's. I hey, let's let's test it out. I mean, I I, I have tried it and it's messed up a couple of times and I thought it was just my timing. Like I didn't roll at the right time to be so underneath them that it doesn't matter which way they take. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be able to reach them and stuff like that. So, uh, I mean. The way you said, I've definitely seen that Actually, way. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. They can. They can. They, no. So it is an unblockable, technically. Okay. Cool. So yeah. So okay. So no, 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 no. So yeah, that's right. That's correct. Yeah. No, you were right. Uh. So yeah. So actually, that is a, a nice way to set it up after the ground bounce, um, in level three. And if they do tech forward, it looks like yeah, you can catch them. You just have to time it right. Yeah. It's, it's, they popped it's out once. Um. If they do have an air dash, though, uh, don't quote me on that. Maybe they can escape. I'm not sure. But that would be interesting to take it to the lab and really, like, mess around and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to do that. Um, so, yeah, and then after that, uh, quarter circle forward heavy. Um, now he has an, a proper OTG. Um, and it makes everything else just a lot easier. So now you can actually do a BNB with Frank and um, get decent da- – oh, shoot, I got slow for You can get to <laughs> decent damage off of it. Like, let's say you do – confirm with stand medium you do uh slide and then we'll go into freaking um we'll do launch air medium medium you'll just dash and then you'll now do the otg now and then you can relaunch so now yeah. that is a lot more tool. um you can preserve the ground bounce if you have like uh, a plasma beam assist uh, something that will just keep them that'll just they'll get hit immediately after you do the ground bounce so you can preserve it so you can do it basically twice yeah, that's a that's weird. You, there's a few people that do that, and it kind of I don't know if like people understand how it works, but yeah, it, it kind of it OTGs, but it won't ground bats. So next yeah, time yeah. you do it, it will OTG and ground bats because you yeah. still you technically haven't had the animation of the ground bats. It yeah. got interrupted, so you get it next time. Uh, there's yeah, there's def, there's loads of different assists you can use. I, I I've done it with Firebrand with a swoop. 
You can do it with oh, the swoop okay, as well. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I so see. They, they get the spin state from yeah, the swoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then you still have the ground bounce. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's not bad. I haven't actually... Uh, it's, it's good as well because the spin state isn't a soft knockdown, so they're all covering the air, so it's easier to set up like oh, if I want to really? go for the air. Yeah. The spins, it, it, it'll always be the same. It's sort of like how Wesker's gunshot works. Doesn't matter where you do it in the combo, it'll always pop you up the same, the same height. The uh-huh. spin state's the same. It doesn't matter how far in the combo. I'm pretty sure that's the, the rule anyway. Doesn't matter how far in the combo it is, you'll always spin for the same amount of time. Interesting. That's good. Uh, wow. Nice. But yeah, like you were saying, obviously, yeah, you can, res- you can preserve the ground bounces in combos, uh, with. That's, that's the optimized way you would like to use Frank. If, yeah. you, if you're planning to really play Frank like I do, um, that's pretty much your best bet. I didn't like Frank at one point when I was just kind of going to tournaments because he felt like kind of dead weight, um, because I originally ran Morgan Virgil Frank, and it was fun using that team, um, but after a while I just decided, well, let's just take out Frank put him in a team that would benefit more off of him because Frank kind of was dead weight for Morgan and Morgan needed more of a any year uh, assist, you know? Yeah. So I put her with missiles. So now Frank is in a more optimized team, which I can preserve the ground bounce, do extensions, do the damage I want, get some, get him to level four, you know, all that yeah. jazz. But yeah. Um, and now, yeah, I mean, I'm having fun with him because now once he's at level four, we can do the specials. So in level four, his uh, quarter-sickle forward light does 162 damage on hit, which is ridiculous. <laughs> um, that is just banana damage. Um, <laughs> the best way to utilize that, um, like before, you can always anti-air them and then you can convert off of it. But in a combo, in the corner, you can do it up to three times. So you would do yep. stand, stand light, medium, whatever, launch. Um, and then you would do it like this. You would do uh, medium heavy, quarter circle forward light, quarter circle forward light, medium, one more time, and then you can send them down, and then you can OTG, and that already alone does around, uh, let's see. Uh, and I finally sent them down. That did around close to 500K. And I haven't used the ground bounce or the wall bounce. Yeah. I have two assists, so you can really you can really do some crazy damage off of that. Frank in the corner can do some crazy damage. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He, he, I don't know if I've seen anyone kill solo, but he could easily get like eight, nine hundred when you maximize him out instead of just doing obviously the bread and butter. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. A lot of people resort to the bread and butter because, oh, well, I do kind of because I have swords, which is kind of yeah. Lame. It, it kind of makes no difference to you what combo you do. Like you're gonna kill eventually, like so. But one unique thing that most people always forget, kind of the reason why I do that combo in the corner with the light uh, sword motion, that builds so much meter. It's not even funny. If you do that one okay. rep, I think you bel- you would gain. Let, let, let me just whiff a hyper. Let's see how much he gains. Uh, all dark. All right, so I would do stand medium heavy. Do it once. Do it twice. You gain close to a bar. For, oh, from two. From just like two or three, I believe. Uh, with the quarter circle forward light. Yeah. Yeah. You gain close to a bar. I would say maybe it looks like eighty percent. So yeah, that's well, that, not that not happen. many people. Not many people realize that just from doing different combos than the basic bread and butter, you can get a lot more than you bargain for, more than you should. You know, like you can get so much off of that. It's just like wow. Like <laughs> why don't I do this more often? Uh, yeah, I think Frank's got one of them. He's he's turned into one of them characters. Like you can just literally get away with doing his B and B. And people don't realize, like, he can be, like, meter efficient where he can do a combo and gain the meter in the combo that he needs to end in the super. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you gain a bar off of just just one combo and then you can still keep the combo going, he if, if you do, like, just, like, let's say, we did that combo, we OTG'd, we wall bounce, we knocked him down, he already gained, like, at least a bar in 60%. That's a lot. In a game like this, meter is very important. And because he now he's in level four and he has that invincible super, having that as backup if anything fucks up, that's yeah. great. You can just it's a free getaway card if you mess up. Definitely, they can't they can't jump, they can't wake up, do a super to try and be safe like finger laser or something because you'll punish it for free. So yeah, you don't even have to do a hyper. You could just do camera shot, like I said before. True. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I mean, it's just like he he get he has so many options now. It's just like he's just he's a great character, you know. Um, and then crouch or quarter circle forward uh, medium. Uh, it's just a generic wall bounce. Um, it does a lot of damage. Um, and now, except it causes a hard knockdown after the wall bounce. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, uh, it I only, does it only do that twice? Uh, oh. It depends on the combo, uh, how it is. Like, if you just do it once, and then you do it a second time immediately after, it'll still cause a hard knockdown. But yeah. if you do it the first time, it's going to cause a hard knockdown. But if you do it later in the combo, they will kind of pop out like when you're in level three. Yeah. Because it's just so much damage scaling. They, they won't get the chance to land. They're just going to pop. Yeah. And you can go for a reset. You can do fancy stuff. That's kind of what I used to do. But, yeah, there's there's, there's many things. You can, um, so, yeah, level th- the the quarter circle four medium, it's just, it's just a really powerful ground, uh, wall bounce extension. That's all it really is. Right. Um, and now his quarter circle forward heavy... Uh, it's the same thing, more damage, except they're in the air for longer. Uh, so you have more time to, like... What I like to do is when they do that, like, say I did a mix-up, and now my back is against the wall. If I do that quarter circle forward heavy, you can dash under them and switch sides. All right, yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah, uh, most of the time I do it off of, uh, off of, uh, what's it called? The knee drop. Yeah. Like on incoming, if they're coming in, you can do a knee drop, and then they'll get crossed up. You can pick it up with the um, with the uh, the quarter circle forward heavy, and then you'll just dash, and now you're on the opposite side. Now right. you're back in. The, now you're putting them in the corner now again. So yeah, and then if you have an OTG extension, you can you can get another ground bounce off of it. So yeah, and that pretty much covers most of his specials. I oh actually no, we're forgetting one important one the the funny one the down down S. <laughs> oh, the drink. Is it, is it milk? I can't remember what the Dan Ennis one is. Uh, he drinks, uh, I believe, it's vodka, I believe. I'm assuming. Ah. I hope it is. He uh, needs to share. No, the yes, drunk. right. Yeah, it is. That's the... Uh, oh, well, I'll let you explain what it does. Yeah, the beer bottle, or the liquor, I guess. Um, he basically just... Uh, it's called Bottoms Up, and he, uh, he uh, just, you know, goes ham on the bottle, and then now, essentially... <laughs> Anything you do, like let's say you do a combo that does 12 hits, right? You would do a camera shot. Normally that would get you to level 2 because it's not enough for level 3. But because you are you already took the uh, the bottoms up, when you do the camera shot, it's going to double that and now it's 24. So it's actually not bad. It's it's okay. The only downside to it is after a while, if you drink too much, <laughs> man, it's going to blow chunks. <laughs> And you can't get out of it. You can't hyper cancel it. The only way to get out of it is X Factor. Yeah, um, it's happened to me enough times. <laughs> oh, by accident, by accident. That's the worst thing. Uh, uh, it's happened to me a lot when I try to wave dash. Yep. Because I got to keep pressing down, and I try to do S or some other button. It, it will accidentally come out by accident. So yeah. Uh, I um, think raw tagging gets rid gets rid of it. Oh um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw tagging gets rid of it. So if you do ever do it by accident, if it, if you really need Frank alive in that match, uh, you can rot tag and he'll be fine. Um, uh, one thing that you can do, you can hyper cancel it. I used it once as a bait. It only worked once. Um, I just drank it out of random, and the guy started charging at me. I canceled to a, a shopping cart hyper. <laughs> he got All right, yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Oh, we forgot about the roll as well. Uh, he gets an invincible roll. That's about it. <laughs> is, it that, um, is that level two or three? Is it That's... Two, three, and above, yeah. After three, three two. Above. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Um, the only, I mean, it's safe, you know. Uh, you can get punished, like, uh, like he's, he can avoid things, but he can still get punished if, if you just abuse it too much. It, like, they, if they read you, they can just wait for you to do it. Because you have some sort of recovery frame. I don't know how much. Yeah. But they can punish you before you actually, like, roll and he recovers. You can get hit. So, it's mostly only used for incoming mix-ups and setups, really. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm, I don't know the frames on it, but you can get hit like meaty. Obviously, it's invincible. Uh, the higher your level, I think, the more invincibility it gets. Uh, like, no, no, no. It's all the same. It's all. Is the it same. all the same? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, the only real use I have for it is when I go online and ranked, and I fight a bunch of nuts, and they like like to do random bionic arms. So I'll just go ahead and just roll. That's it. 
That's all you have to do. You can avoid bionic arm. You can avoid, if you're close enough, you can avoid hypers that are just like in your face, kind of like uh, Hadouken. What? You can yeah. Avoid that. You can avoid a lot of things with that. So Coyote flames, stuff like that. Yeah, no, you can do that. And a, a good way to use it to the best of its ability, let's say you're in level three or four, right? You're already going to have invincibility from, um, from uh, your hyper already, right? You now have yeah. invincibility frames when you do uh, what's the move called? I think it's like blue light special. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, so you would do the roll to get you know avoid most of it, and then you would do your hyper. You would basically cancel from a roll into that, and you kind of add the invincibility yeah. over. You get me? So yeah, you get even closer. I've seen minute. like punishes from like mid screen from doing roll into super, and it's like. <laughs> It's, 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 it's mad it's mad to think that someone can do that I mean <laughs> I think a lot of people are obviously a lot quicker to just do the super where it's like well if you just rolled and use invincibility on that you would get a full combo instead of just just do one super but yeah I mean for certain characters I mean hey if you do that special you can always um, what most people do is when they what they used to do actually people used to have Frank with a power up character like they would DHC into a pipe yeah uh, like let's say Wolverine's Berserker Charge, or Devil Trigger, or something, you know, and then they yeah. would just hard tag back in and take a picture, and that's fine, you know. But most people nowadays are using him with Nova Super Scroll, you know. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's, it's a good combination. You can't like be mad that anyone's using it. It's like that's one of uh, Frank's optimal team ups. Like, why not? Know, of course. Like, why Why would you see somebody using Morgan with, like, something else other than missiles, you know? I mean, you can, you know, but is it going to work as it would if you did have missiles, you know? Yeah. It's like there's optimal things, and there's just like, it's how you use it, honestly, and it's, it's how it's going to be. That's how the game is just going to turn out. I mean, eventually the metagame is going to change again, I hope. Oh, yeah, same here. Um, and we'll just see where it takes us. I mean, because right now, as you can see, there's the rise of zero players, as you can see, they're everywhere. So, I mean, we're going to see what happens with that. I mean, more, zero can really match up more Doom, so maybe we can see Frank later along in the future. We'll see uh, what he's happens. got the tools. I just think it's just until someone finds a kind of a universal way besides TAC, in, because that's always going to be uh, a risk to think, right, I can I can play Frank, all I've got to do is get one TAC and I can get him leveled up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it works best if you TAC and you have a, a character like that can power up because at least if you do get it right, you're gonna get him instantly to level four. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely gonna be a it, someone needs to come up with like a Nemo with Frank in it, a Nemo team for Frank in it. Uh, yeah, there, there are many hard tag. Uh, I, I have a hard tag combo that I have with Frank. Um, uh, essentially, I don't know if you've seen it. It's uh, with uh, Virgil's round trip. Um, yeah. So you would just throw the sword, you would hard tag Frank in, um, the sword would come back around and go the opposite way, and then with Frank you would just come in and then just do knee drop and take a camera shot. So I mean, there's many optimal ways. I know there's a player in California who uh, uses Frank, I believe, with uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, I don't remember his name. But he came up with some really optimal stuffs and hard tag combos. Because uh, with Doctor Strange, he would put them in a state where they would like, uh, it would be the crumple state. Yep. And he has enough time to hard tag and Frank take the camera shot and bam. Yeah, I, uh, I used to do that with uh, Iron Fist. Iron Fist can do the same thing. It's, uh, and then, uh, then you get a full combo and then you've got Iron Fist wall bounce assist, like log trap, and you get like two pictures. That was like a level four standard. Yeah. yeah there's, I mean, there's definitely loads of ways. I mean, I've seen, uh, uh, what was it? A Spider Man. Uh, if you end with the Spider Sting, oh, the Grand Bounce right. is long enough just to raw tag in Frank and take a picture. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, there's. There's definitely loads of ways to do it. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully people kind of, like, you know, stray away, not entirely, but just kind of use more of the unorthodox or lesser used characters with their their dooms or, like, their Virgils or whatever. Yeah. Uh, just kind of gently show, like, yeah, these other characters are pretty good. And I definitely think Frank, when he's level four, he's the best, but it's kind of being at that point where you're comfortable playing at him at level one which i think a lot of people aren't like they kind of see him as like a, a non-character yeah i mean it, it's like this it's like this when you get level four frank and you have an optimal team 
most of the time it's always something to do with uh, incoming mix up, you know. Like yeah. like uh do you know Apology Man? Yep. You know how he has a setup with Frank with uh tenderizer, basically it's like a cross oh, up yeah, high that's low. That's, that's so ridiculous. So it's like if he does get what he wants afterwards, if he did get that hit, it kinda it all becomes a coin flip after that. When you're coming in, ah, oh, which way do I block? Ha, ah, you didn't block it, I kill you, ha ha, pretty much. That's all it turns into. Pretty it much. turns into a coin flip. So, I mean, I, I can definitely see, like, Apology Man is still doing work. Um, I mean, it, it, it just, people just need to get motivated, honestly, man. People just immediately go to the character select screen and they see this and they see that and then they see streams and they see, oh, look, Virgil's winning. I'm going to pick Virgil. Virgil, Virgil, Virgil. Doom. <laughs> that's all it is. And, yeah. I mean, that's fine, you know? But... Then there's, there's eventually there's going to become a time when there's going to be one guy who's going to come out with some random crap. you are going to be like, what the hell? Oh, my God. And then that character can, can move up in the ranks, you know. It's always yeah. going to take time. I mean, hey, there's, uh, if you practice, you know, anything can happen. Shit. Yeah, Marvel's Either definitely way. that sort of open-ended. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, Frank, with his specials, uh, what are you thinking about giving him out of ten? I think I will give him a nine. I think his specials, he's, he, he has great specials. He has everything he really needs. Even in level one, even though it sucks, he can at least do something. Not like most characters. True. Um, like, not to bag on anybody, but I think, like, Deadpool, I don't like the fact that his OTG ground bounces, but unlike with Frank, I mean, I get more options if I do get an OTG and level him up, you know? Yeah. So I kind of like, compared to like other characters and just Frank in general, I like his specials and I'm going to give him a nine. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, right, next. Uh, it won't take as long as uh, normals and specials just because it's hypers. Uh, ah, yeah. He's only got three. Their properties don't really change much uh, on the levels. I know they do for the uh, the hit uh, grab one. Uh, I think yeah. the trolley stays the same as you get the Annie Air one at level three, I think it is, mm-hmm, level two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The, the, the shopping cart is called Blue Light Special. And uh, the quarter circle back when he's in level four or five with the invincibility, that's called survival techniques. Okay. Survival techniques, right. That's yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's cover the first one. Uh, the first one, actually, many people don't realize how to use it the right way, which is uh, the blue light special, the shopping cart. Uh, wait, so you guys call it trolley? Yeah. Okay. Nah, because I've been hearing some people. I, I have friends from like out of the state too, and they also call shopping carts trolley. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's shopping trolley. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. No, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, so what most people don't know how to use the, the shopping cart the right way, it's like, all right, so the only reason you should use a shopping cart is kind of like in three manners. Um, level one and two, um, the shopping cart, obviously, it, 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 if you mash it, it does a lot more damage than if you just did the blue light special in level one and two. Yep. So if you're ever after level three, the only reason you should do uh, the shopping cart is if you're an X Factor to save your X Factor time. Yep. Other than that, after you get to level three, the only hyper you should be doing is the blue light special. It does more damage than the shopping cart, even if you mash it. Wow. So you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So other than that, yeah. Um, another way to use uh, the shopping cart, uh, if you just want to save time, yeah, you would just do that also. So yeah. Um, I only do the shopping cart only in X Factor. Because I'm trying to save like my X Factor time instead of doing the animation and all that. Yeah, I don't. I hate when I see people do that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like that's the best way to use. It. That's the optimized way. If you have plenty of time and you're level three or four, just do the animation hyper. There's no other reason. Yeah. Um, another thing that most people don't know. Uh, let's say, uh, let's go to freaking. Well, let's just let's just say he's in level three, right? Yep. Um. We're going to land and we're going to OTG with the quarter circle forward medium. They're going to be up in the air. They're going to be quite, they're going to be uh, lifted, I guess you could say. They're going to be, uh, the ground bounce pretty much picked them up, right? Yeah. So after that, if you go immediately into shopping cart, uh, the hyper, you can dash and do S and then S again, and then you can combo after it, essentially. You feel me? So right, it's okay, like, yeah, yeah. I've seen, so I think like, I've seen a few people do that. Not many. Yeah, so if they're if they're elevated enough, like the character, and you do the shopping cart, in any condition you can pick them up with an OTG or or uh, a, a, a stand S, or you could just do camera shot. What? 
So the way I used to do it, if I had Virgil and like, if, if most of the time people snap in my Virgil, so I'm like, oh, why the fuck? I don't want to play him right now. Um, if I catch them pressing buttons, I'll do Helmet Breaker, High Time, and then I'll, d- I'll do uh, the obviously the Spiral Swords, right? Yeah. As the character falls down, I would DHC into Frank, and I would kind of time it obviously, um, and uh, they would basically be at that right height that I need them to be. And DHC in the shopping cart, and basically I can take a camera shot afterwards, or even a full combo if I needed it be. Most of the time I just do uh, uh, S into another S because they pop because it's just a uh, 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 spiral swords does a lot of or dimensional slashes does a lot of damage from Virgil. But um, yep. if you have like just a random hyper, like uh, let's say bionic arm, right? Just say you do bionic arm and you hit the confirm, um, and then. You DHC in a Frank, you can do a full combo afterwards, which is pretty sick. Not many people yeah. know that, and they need to take advantage of that because it's just like a free combo from like a bionic arm is actually really good. I mean, if you think about it, invincible super free combo, I'll take that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, other than that, the next hyper is blue light special level one and two variant sucks. That's all it is. It's just really bad. It does, I believe. Let's see. Uh, 253. You can't mash it. Um, and the higher levels, they level three. I think it does like 300. Or no, 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 no. It does like 280. And in level four, it does like 350. Some crap like yeah, that. Massive it, increase. It, it like it com- compared to like reuse level three. Reuse level three does 380. If your freaking blue light special does <laughs> like that much damage, that that's a lot, you know? Yeah, that's for a level one. Yeah, that is. Yeah. And the fact that it has invincibility and then you could add the roll if you felt like it to avoid anything and get out of trouble, that's good. <laughs> that's mm. really cool. Um, after, like, a damage scaled combo, it still does good damage, too. You get, uh, you get, a, you get an additional, like, maybe 150k at the most if it's from a combo, like a long combo string. Yeah. It'll always do, like, maybe around 100, 150k. Okay. So that's that's good to keep in mind. Um, other than that, that really covers that special. There's nothing else I really see a need to use it. Uh, it can cross up sometimes if like your opponent's in the mid air, like if like they're doing like air dashes. Okay. It can, it can cross up funky. It's kind of a weird hitbox. Um, it's not safe, but it is kind of hard to punish it though. So. I wouldn't like throw it out like if like if I make a wrong read and they block it, you can't hit me. So, it's a kind of like dependent. So if you hit him near the end of your like your lunge of the super, it's kind of like more safe than if you hit him right at the beginning where they've got a lot more time to react to after blocking it. So instead of say you did it like point blank and they blocked it, it's it's easier to punish than whether you tried to throw it out from like mid screen because you thought they were going to throw yeah yeah five or something like yeah. So it's like, yeah, it, it all dep- kind of depends on, like, the timing, so, yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird to explain it. <laughs> he has, like, it's like, I think, two or three frames to punish him, so you most characters can punish him, obviously, but it's like, some people are scared to, like, still even press a button, you know? Yeah, he's I, got I, too much nonsense. He's got too many invincible sh- stuff, like, it's, it's scary yeah. to go for him. Yeah. Um, and then after that, um, his other hyper is obviously the anti-air. You only get it after level three, so three and above. You can't get it one or two. Um, it's a sure you can motion. It's great as a level three anti-air. Um, I feel it's probably the best one because, I mean, She-Hulk can combo and Spider-Man can combo after off of his too, but Spider-Man and She-Hulk don't have Frank chainsaw paddle yeah. saw in sense. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all it really is. You can uh, you can twirl the the directional pad uh, to increase the damage. See, I heard about that, but then I thought, well, what what are you gonna do if you want to stick? Can you twirl the? Stick? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. Oh, so it's just direction. So it's not. I thought it was just like an analog thing. So any. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, right, right. As long as it's uh, <laughs> as long as you're just moving the directions, I you can move it in a circle. I just kind of like freaking barrage it now to yes. get all the hits. I just that's all I do. Okay. Um, I used to go in a circular motion, and I would sometimes get the right hits, but you just want to just barrage the directional pad all over the place, and you'll get the maximum amount of hits. Okay. And it does, I believe, uh, let's see, 
if I let's say I'm I mash or mash the directional pad. Ah, that was horrible. But even so, normally it does around 300. So anything after wow. that, it probably does maybe 320. So that's not bad. And then you can combo afterwards. You can get a camera yeah, shot. That's what I was thinking that is a lot of damage for something you can get a combo off afterwards. And then you can do another hyper. You can do whatever, you know. It's, 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 it's good. not even like a hard confirm. It's literally like, yeah, you're grinded. I've got a really good OTG now anyway. So yeah. you're getting at least a B&B from me after a bad aging. So. Yeah. So I feel Frank, uh, when it comes to his hypers and grading it, um, shit, I don't know. I guess I'd have to give it, uh, an 8, cause it's, it's all around. I mean, everybody has their good hypers. I can't just make it like 10, you know? Uh, I think because, only because you don't get the, the Annie ear, uh, until level 3, that's kind yep. of the factor. If it would, I would have gave it maybe like a 9.5. But right now I'm kinda gonna give it like a 8.5. How about that? Yeah, no, I can go 8.5. I think, yeah, I think the only, the thing is that make his hypers not a 10 out of 10 are things that, it's because he doesn't have it from the beginning. He has yeah. to, like, if he had the invincibility he does at level 4 when he was level 1. Oh, no, that'd be silly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even if he didn't have the damage, if he had the same invincibility, it would easily have to, like, you'd have to consider giving him a 10 out of 10, because that would be, like, one of the best supers in the game. Yeah. Uh, just for, like, practicality. Yeah. Uh, but like you said, yeah, it's not like that. Uh, moving slightly on is the DHC and so basically going into Frank's hypers uh, from another character and vice versa so obviously everyone's seen the Nova into Frank um yeah that's that one that, that's basically I guess you could say that's the most optimized way I kind of don't like taking the easy route sometimes sometimes I mean I play Virgil so sometimes I do take the easy route <laughs> but I mean, like, as far as that, like, it just feels like, not to, not to sound rude to anybody that does use Nova Frank, um, the most, most of the Nova Franks that I fought in Nova, or Super Scroll Frank, they did not know how to play Nova or Super Scroll at all. Yep. They just knew how to just Frank. All I had to do was spend my time and just keep away that one character that tried to hit me, you know, Nova or Super Scroll. Yeah. They mess up. Oh, bet I killed that character. Frank comes in level one. They don't know what to do with level one, Frank. They just sit there and try to pray. They just mash and pray. That's it. It's, uh, so it's kind of like, that's kind of embarrassing because I'm like, damn, dude, like, if you didn't get that, like, what the hell? Like, yeah, is that you, all you're going to do? You put all your, like, you, you went in the top heavy team with a character that you aren't comfortable with because yeah, if he got all his coins pretty much on just one lucky hit, you know? Yeah, on a character that he doesn't feel like he can play t- like it's, it's weird because obviously the point character they've got on that team isn't actually their point character it's for Frank but they have yeah. to put him there first and then it's like okay I've got a point character that is here for my second character if I don't get my second power of the character up then I've basically just picked an anchor nah. <laughs> and it's like people just uh, make so many mistakes just trying to do just the things they do <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, another way you can use it, obviously, is uh, uh, it's not very popular, but it kind of is. It's like from from uh, like let's say Rocket Raccoon or uh, Dante or Taskmaster. Dante's they kind of like revolve around for million dollars the hyper, so you right. can yep. DHC from Frank. You can do the little uh, blue light special and it'll whiff, mm-hmm. and they're still kind of in that twirling state, and you can take a picture. Um, you can do the same thing with, um, with, uh, what's it called, uh, Raccoon. Um, I think there's a way you can do it with Taskmaster. I'm not sure how that works. I don't remember. Hmm. Actually, no, that was a team hyper, I believe. Yeah, no. Oh, right, yeah, that, yeah, cause I've seen that, I've seen that with Deadpool. There is yeah. some, uh, weird state you can cause if you get, like, a, f- a wall bounce animation or a throw animation. If you go into a hyper, they automatically go straight into the spin state. Uh, it's it's weird. I'll have to show you a video. I've done a video on it anyway. But uh, oh really? Yeah. There's uh, there's really weird states that you can cause, and it will give you enough time to just raw tag in Frank and get a picture. Um, oh okay. Yeah. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 weird, and certain cats can do it. And yeah, obviously you've got uh, the power up super, uh, Denjin, uh, Devil Trigger. Yeah. 
Um, that's the generic one. That's that still works to this day because like whatever amount of comp or whatever amount of hits that you did in the combo, just you're gonna double it, and that's it. And that's yeah. kind of what that's kind of the reason why it makes the pow- uh, the bottoms up kind of obsolete. It's really just there to like, oh hey guys, I'm gonna show off and just do bottoms up, you know. <laughs> And just be a dick about it. I mean, that's really the only way I see using it. Because, I mean, if you have a character that can DHC and, like, like into a stance change, I mean, yeah, there's uh, you're basically doing the same thing. Yeah. Um, and that applies for anybody with a power-up hype or Wolverine, even Firebrand. So. Yeah, Luminous Buddy, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, and you also you play Trish, so you could also do it with Trish. You could uh, throw it out, and uh, you can hard tag in Frank, and then I believe you could super jump and take a picture, right? Yep. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I'm... I didn't obviously the way you were saying how people play like uh insert Nova, Scroll, Frank and then Anchor. I like it that I've got Frank at the back because I've got Firebrand, Trish, Frank. So he is in his last spot. I mean if I lose Firebrand and Trish, I'm kinda screwed, but I do have X Factor with Frank. So I might get a lucky knee drop here or there. I mean I've got a chance because I don't have to burn the X Factor and it is my last cat, so I don't mind using all my resources that I've got left. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with, uh, yeah, with Firebrand, or when I used to play Nova on point, you basically go into, uh, Firebrand's Fire Breath or the standard Nova thing, throw around Harvest. If you started the combo with an S, uh, I can jump up and then hit you with an S as the round Harvest is finishing. And then oh, okay. take the picture with you on the ground. But I do normally just jump up and take a picture because I know it's like, now you're probably going to press up, especially if you're like Virgil or something, you're going to come down Helmet Breaker yeah. while I'm underneath you with chainsaws. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'll take a couple of games for them to realize it's like, I have to drop and not press a button. But normally, first thing people do is come down, either do a hyper in the air or just fall down and press a button. It's like, you can't do that. I'm Frank underneath you with chainsaws. I'm level four now. You can't, it ain't going to work. So that's yeah. always nice. Uh, but yeah, I think. I definitely prefer the way Trish levels up Frank than most other characters. It's just that she can't, without an assist, she can't combo into her round harvest. So it, you need to get uh, a two, a, a one bar combo, <laughs> a bar that gives you one bar. So I think Firebrand does a better job than that than Nova does. Nova's a bit fiddly when it comes to getting uh, one bar of his of, of Nova bread and butter. Uh, mm. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, and uh, Frank from uh, from DH saying, uh, like DHing into Frank, this is just basically just to level him up. There's no other reason. Um, as far as DHing from Frank into other characters, like let's say you have Point Frank. Now the other popular way, um, I don't know. Do you know B from Canada? Yep. So the way he has it, sometimes it's been very rare when he did have Frank. It's probably because his plan didn't work out with Spencer. He would have Frank and then do a team hyper with uh, Dante's million dollars. Oh, yeah, and he gets, so, like, knee drops and... Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's like you would do million dollars, he recovers, you can take a picture shot, and then you can do a knee drop, and then you can OTG, you can wall bounce. It all depends on how the combo started, if you have what you have. So, but, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's an instant level five for Frank. Um, another way to do it, uh, uh, actually another unpopular way to do it. Some people do it with, um, what's her name? Tr- Tron? Yeah, Tron. Tron Bond, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that's, the uh, that's, super. Yeah. That yeah, one's really that. nasty. That um, is, that is mad. It's, it's very rare you see a Tron Frank player, but when you do, they're actually, they, they know what they're doing, so yeah. Yeah, well, they have to win it. They're playing Tron. It's like they've got a, they've got a point in work, especially at Frank as well. It's like their their fullback option is not they're really an dedicated. option. <laughs> they're dedicated. Yeah. They're they're dedicated as hell to be playing the team like that. You know. Yeah, you have to be. I mean, it's, it's it makes more sense because Tron does a lot of hits in her combos on her own. Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely. So it it kind of it isn't easy, but it makes sense. It makes sense to have Tron and uh Frank uh. To me, more than like a Nova sort of thing. I think Shop and Trolley helps Tron a bit more than it does with Frank. Yeah. Uh, um, and other than that, there, I, I really don't see uh, any other way uh, to DHC into Frank. Well, like I said earlier, um, like if you do a, a hyper that keeps them elevated at the right height and you DHC into the shopping cart, you, yeah. you can combo after it. You can take a camera shot or you can just dash SS. 
because I mean sometimes the combo they they pop. So yeah, your best bet would just be after the shopping cart, just take a uh, a camera shot. Don't be too greedy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's kind of like uh, his DHC scene is just for leveling up. Like, uh, I know there is one setup you can do for like the end year. I used to play uh, four uh, instead of uh, Trish at one point. I think it was, uh, and I was using the whole gimmick of like the mighty thunder and then when you dhc out of it early they fall really slow oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I use that gimmick but what you could do is you could go for uh a, on incoming wait for the person to land go for a four grab uh after a while obviously well not even after a while normally they'll be holding up back anyway and then uh-huh. you can go straight into the anti air grab so it's sort of like the Abigail thing with she Ah, It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're damned if you stay on the ground, and I'll just any air grab you if you try and jump away. Uh, mm. That's always a good gimmick. That always works for a while, uh, if you've got yeah. the resources. Yeah, no, 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 I remember now. Yeah, the Abigail specials, yeah. <laughs> Abigail's a great player, by the way. Um, Same so, and, uh, Hell yeah. Um... <laughs> So I mean I don't I don't know I feel like yeah his his hypers are, are DH seeing to and from uh, he has it depends honestly all at the end of the day on the team you wouldn't want to put him like with freaking like well hell you can even put him with our I mean it all depends you know because th- there's many variations I I don't know all of them so yeah so I couldn't tell you but no he has, he has a lot of options just depending on the shopping cart or the whiff of the blue light special yeah. You just you just got to be smart and come up with something. I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's it's all about how creative you want to be and how far you want to, no, or how bad you don't want to play a generic Frank team, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but uh, DAC and wise, I mean, it's only really useful as a tool to level up Frank. I don't really see many people kind of using it as uh, a way of dealing damage or setting stuff up by the like sort of yeah the anti-air thing I mean I don't really see people using like the invincibility on his super to get in close to do someone else's super and stuff like that yeah uh, I think it is just all a, a level up thing so I mean in that respect uh, I don't know if that's gonna make it make you want to score the DAC and lower at all or uh nah I think I think I'll just keep it I'll, I'll probably make it a 9 now no, I'll keep it. Like, what, what did I say? I made the DHCs. Oh, uh, you you gave hypers eight point five. Hypers. Uh, yeah, DHC scenes a little bit different. I mean, it's it's still the same principle, but it's more how useful he is from DHC and now. I mean, it's useful because yeah, he's level one at level four is invincible, so you know you'll definitely get the his hyper at. So yeah, I guess I guess it's kind of all team based. So I guess I'll give it a a seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, it all really depends on the team. Like if you if you're running Frank with like, let's say uh, Iron Man, I don't think he can do anything off of that. So it's like, yeah, there's no point for you to even have that, you know? Yeah, it's, so, it's, yeah. it's very Pacific in it kind of thing. So yeah, if you're running a, a, the incorrect Frank team, yeah, you, you it, that's why I'm gonna make it a seven. So yeah, mobility. All right, okay. And so mobility with Frank is extremely important um before you even start trying to learn frank like if you've already been playing marvel for a while um i want to ask all the frank players that are trying to learn frank to learn how to plink dash or wave dash even i say plink dashing because you can tech throws if you uh if they get close to you especially uh when it comes to mobility if you know how to plink with frank if you throw that zombie with the throw you can outrun that zombie like we were talking about earlier yeah, and just you know have setups, cross ups, mix ups, you know all that jazz. Yeah, plink over, then do a roll. Like it's, you've got, you're free to do what you want. They they basically have to guess or jump away. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's good. Uh, when it comes to Frank mobility, you want to know how to plink. That's your best bet. And then after you already know how to plink, um, now you want to start using your normals to his advantage. Especially, let's just say you get put in a city in a shitty situation. You have. You just have level one, right? Yeah. Being able to move, you can out- avoid them rushing you down enough to kind of pre-plan, you know, throw your zombies, do a roundhouse throw, which is the the way where he, like, like waves them around or swings them, I mean. Yeah. You can do that to kind of, like, counterattack. Just, just, just as long as you have enough time to plank and get away from them to just, you know, 
get get your thoughts together and think, okay, if he's going to keep doing this, I'm going to do this, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's good to have the plinking or the mobility in in shape, you know. Just keep just messing around with plinking and tr- or tr- I guess you could wave dash because he doesn't have a flight, obviously. Um, no. You could just just l- just learn how to move around the screen. Just learn that, uh, and wh- then after that, just playing, you're gonna learn how to just hit people. <laughs> what, what do you think about his mobility? Obviously, uh, in general, do you think? Obviously, he hasn't got really any. Yeah, no, his ground game is fine. His ground game is fine. He has he has enough he needs. Um, as far as just staying in the air, he has his little things he can use, like the quarter circle forward medium. You can really bait out people too. Uh, if you know they're gonna go ahead and super jump, you can hit them. You can convert it to the ground. Uh, you can uh, knee drop if you know they're gonna go ahead and start pressing buttons under you. Um, and just yeah, I feel like he's he, he's good. He's fine. Um, especially when he's at level three, you can swing the chainsaws around, but you have to be careful. You can't get too out of hand. So as far as just mobility uh, in the air, compared to the ground, uh, it's okay, but it's not as good as his ground game because he has a lot more options, obviously. Yeah. So when it comes to air game, I really only use his air game to just avoid things like that I can't normally avoid, like if it's plasma beam, assist call, plasma beam, some other stuff. Yeah. It's just to just not take enough chip. That's really all it's for, and just really waste time too. That's about it. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what would you rank? Uh, score him out of ten then for mobility. Um, I'd give him. Well, actually, I forgot to mention also. Um, his mobility is good it, as far as like to get away and to kind of recollect your thoughts, but he gets lamed out easily. Even in level four, he'll he'll get lamed out. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it done. Yeah. He, even though he's, he he has the chainsaws, he has the roll, he has the hyper. If he's like fighting a doom or Finger lasers, Morgan, yeah. Morgan uh, let's say Fiend or Magneto, they can just outrun Frank, and he can't really keep up. So, I mean, as far as air game, it's as compared to the ground game, and just keep away if he gets. It, that's all you really have to do to Frank to beat him. If you want to, if you if he has level four, he's just annoying you. Just yeah. keep him away, and he really can't do anything about it. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I would rank his mobility uh, six, maybe seven. He has great, like he has good options. Don't get me wrong, but it's like the biggest part is like when it comes to it, like. They're chasing you down. That's fine. You you have you have options, but chasing them down, you don't have anything like a freaking like. I mean, you have an anti air, but they're not. You're ne- they're never going to catch them within that right distance, you know. Especially a flight character. Yeah, no, definitely not. Uh, yeah, I, I think mean, I think six is fair. I was thinking that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, as far as yeah, just mobility, keep away, getting kept away. Yeah, he's the six. Yeah, so, uh, if he had if he had like his air dash from Tatsunoko, which would be silly, nah. But yeah, other than that, no, it's a six. It's a six. Yeah, I mean, yeah, his, his grand game kind of is the only reason it's probably over a five because his, his air game he can't really do anything to fly characters, but hope that his jump medium is going to reach. Yeah, you have to read. You have to make the right reads, and if they already know you're going to do that, you know. Yes. Yeah, He's kind of obvious. He's very he's very telegraphed when it comes to his like jump arcs and his like approach. It's literally well, I've got you in this situation where it doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna have to sit here and block all these chainsaws now, and you're gonna I'm, guess wrong eventually, sort of thing. Think of it like this: if, if I'm gonna go ahead and keep you away, and you're like, oh damn, he's keeping me away, I'm gonna go ahead with as a Frank, I'm gonna go ahead and you know try to hit him with some air medium or something, and hopefully it hits. But see, if I was the Doom player, I would already be expecting. I'm like, oh, okay, bet he fell into my trap. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna block it. He's gonna whiff, or he's gonna, you know, not yeah. have any, anything else. Foot dive. And that's it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it's simple solution, isn't it? It's just... Yeah. So it's pretty much like that. I mean, it's not just Doctor Doom in general. I mean, anybody can really punish in the air. You just gotta know what your options are but you know that's their own character yeah but i mean anybody could if you make the wrong read with frank or you just get too stupid and out of hand and hasty you're gonna get hit so if it comes to keep away yeah he can't deal with it so yeah uh yeah cool so uh yeah so far we've done uh normals where we gave him eight out of ten uh mm-hmm. specials got a nine out of ten 
Hypers, uh, we've got 8.5. DACs, we've got 7. And Mobility, we've got a 6 point, uh, sorry, not 6 point, a 6 out of 10. Uh, I'll definitely, uh, try and get back to you soon, uh, and get the other five, which will be solo damage, scramble, keep away, positioning, and conversions, uh, so you can help me do those.